Bumblebees have particularly large and heavy bodies, and flight for them can be a real effort. That's particularly so in spring, when the mornings are cold, and bumblebees are just emerging from their winter sleep. They nest out in the open, but at the top of tall trees. Sometimes very tall trees. These are the giant Asiatic bees, the biggest of all honeybees. They're found from the Himalayas all the way down to Southeast Asia. These colonies are in Malaysia. The colony's great treasure, of course, is its huge store of honey. This is produced from nectar, which the bees industriously collect from flowers. They systematically expose it to the air so that the water it contains evaporates and the nectar becomes sweeter and thicker. Eventually, it turns into honey. They defend themselves with stings, very, very powerful stings. And it's not just against one bee that you have to guard yourself. Because if one bee attacks you, it releases a pheromone, a chemical signal which is detected by the others in the comb, and within seconds there will be hundreds, indeed probably thousands of them, all around you, launching a mass attack and stinging you. <coughs> stinging is a very expensive form of defense because when a bee loses its sting, it dies. So it's better for the colony to warn predators off before they have to fight them off. And they warn them with some dramatic displays. But in spite of such raids, bees, thanks to their stings, retain their precious honey. Precious because it is that that enables them to survive a season without flowers. <laughs>